Hello, Joseph and Anna here Hi. on the <clears throat> extended <throat> training for the Joel Bauer animation project. Uh, from start to finish. Yeah, from start to finish. We're kind of picking up here where uh, Anna just had to consult with Joel. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to kind of recap and walk through the extra parts of it. You just saw the um, behind the scenes with Joel. This is the rest of it. Yeah, this is kind of like a, we're, we're going to walk through how uh, things got constructed and how, how much uh, pain and creativity actually went into it. Um, oh, yeah. With uh, what you know, with a timeline. Mm -hmm. um, well, the first thing when she came out of there, she's like, "I don't want to do this. I, I don't want to do it. I don't. I, I can't do this. I can't do this." Yes. <laughs> and said yes. And I'm like, "You can do it. You can do it." She's like, "I can't do this." I'm like, "You can do it. Why? <laughs> Why? I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do it." And I'm like, "No, I you can do it. <laughs> I don't think my talent is good enough." Don't think it's good enough. And and we had like a limited amount of time, like three days. At the time, I think we started on Friday. Um, like late. We got I got the Joel console on early in the afternoon. Friday. Yeah, yeah it was uh, it was in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. on Friday. And, and then the um, webinar yeah. was Tuesday. Yeah, the webinar was Tuesday, and uh, our biggest concern was about the, the fact that animation has so many frames mm -hmm. that I didn't think I would get it done in time, yeah. much less. The creative process itself, like coming up with an idea, so that's why I got my technical support here. My bestest buddy, Joseph. Technical, and you know, well, I, I've been creative a I've been a student of Joel's process well, a lot longer and, mm -hmm. and more in depth than I. And we have we have complementary creative skills, mm -hmm. and it was her challenge. But given the deadline and the time, it was like and the stuff that I had to like really know about Joel because I haven't done. I've done like one or two modules, but I've never been like fully immersed in it and understand this process like Mr. Awesomeness over here. Yeah, well, and plus we, we both have different complementary skills. Mm -hmm. Like we, we bring different things to the table. Um, she actually knows the animation tablet. Mm -hmm. I'm a master of PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can create pretty much any animation in PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. um, and we can combine those two, but also coming up and throwing ideas off of each other, like, well, how should this flow, and how should this go, and how should this move? Right. Um, and then we both have editing skills, so mm -hmm. we know how to work with that. Um, Movavi, or she knows After Effects, but mm -hmm. we were just trying to get it done, and um, she didn't want to do it. <laughs> she didn't. She she wasn't up to that. I, I just kept pushing, and uh, almost, a great support, uh, laughing at her. Yep. Laughing at her, and she was getting mad, laughing at it. <laughs> and then she's like, "Why do you think I can do this?" I'm like, "Cause you got me." She goes, "Well, that's vain, much, right?" So, <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. I regret saying it now, but I'm glad I did it. <clears throat> yeah, I knew the, I knew what the, I knew the implications of this. Um, and and you know, I knew Joel didn't know that uh, he he was thinking it was going to be this difficult or take that much time. And he even said. You know, afterwards, like I, if I'd have known that, I would have put this off. And I was like, I knew in my feelings that no, we should, we should definitely get this. And look what's happened. A launch has happened. So if you're, if you are working on something, and you know something presents itself, and we all have self-sabotaging behaviors or things we're afraid of, and having support from someone with you in the trenches, going the same direction. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like the most important thing you can have, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you can feed off each other and mm -hmm. do it at a certain time. But teamwork that, makes the dream work. Truth, truthfully, especially in this situation. Mm -hmm. So, so anyways, let's start with the uh, the beginning process. First yeah. of all, the the longest, the thing that takes the most time when working with these things is just the designing process. Once you kind of figure out all the kinks and what you want to make and the idea or the concept, that's the hardest part because you have to like, you have to like figure things out. Some ideas don't work. Some things like you don't realize that they don't work until afterwards okay. that you've like. A theory and practice. Right. Yeah. Oh, like just, just show them. <laughs> well, we had to get the ball rolling and out of like stuck. Like, oh, what are we gonna do? It's just like just put the pen to paper, right? So mm -hmm. that's what I started doing. 
And this is where, like the beginning stages of, of, of my tablet. You gotta love it here, right? This is this is like high tech graphics. Yep. Um, and I'll pull up the website once I'm out of here, and you'll see uh, the logo. Some of you have seen the new logo where you know uh, Joel Bauer is on the end, and his signature is like right here, mm -hmm. right? So we we're trying to like, you know, like okay, come up with ideas, and I was like, okay, well, what if like each one of these letters like represented something and it flipped over and it turned into something right and you know this morphed and they flew in or like and then we're starting to realize man that's that's a lot mm -hmm. that's like way too much but mm -hmm. it's something to start with that you can scale down so this like, was his idea by the way i argued with him <laughs> <laughs> i said this is a terrible idea this is not going to work and then it worked well and, then, and i said well, i was also panicking at the time so that's my excuse i was i, I was panicked i also said well i, I seem to be the only one having ideas here so i think we're going to go with this for now <laughs> so we just keep it going I, even it's the worst thing ever you, you gotta get out of stuck so this um, is why the brainstorming process is the hardest yeah, and and having it, having it form into something instead of being cloudy, mm -hmm. like this right here. It's like you know, I was like, okay, like word, you know, an expression, each letter, right, like turned into something and flew in, and then it was like, okay, well, what about if that actually wait, if we use the word and where the signature is, because the signature represents Joel Bauer, it's his signature. If each one of those um, words had a had a symbol that represented the word mm -hmm. and now we originally did start with you know i was thinking of okay well he's got his three words and, mm -hmm. and they're new actually it was like presence uh pitch okay. and persuasion and when we looked at his name you know i was thinking well maybe we could do something a little different since he was doing it differently we'll keep the two name format right like the two mm -hmm. joel bauer and then we'll do like two words that represent a pitch or mm -hmm. persuasion or um, presence, right? And he even talked about like having presence, uh, open heart. So we were thinking and a the heart. Load of notes. The heart represents presence, right? Mm -hmm. So th these are all other words right here that we just started coming up with to try to look at. Like, uh, we're like, we okay, have a let's... lot of pages, a lot. Right, like a lot of we started using oh, tough touch lives. Oh, I thought about making a sentence: touch lives move them with heart right to try to make it a statement instead mm -hmm. of just the three words and again this is like we were thinking it's going to just going to be on the website not on right marketing he's like oh maybe it'll attach into the website so right and i was thinking um beforehand i was thinking like somehow make his signature into like an animation itself like like see like maybe somehow turn the symbol into like a little stick figure that didn't really work so well because that didn't really make much sense yeah yeah here we um, have uh tom, tom cruise joel's gonna be tom cruise and eyes wide shut <laughs> he, he comes over and does something really inappropriate to his, his crowd and he's got somebody else over here. Well, it's supposed to be <laughs> hand holding man <laughs> so you know having a little fun with it too at that yeah. point making fun of ourselves but mm -hmm. Uh, you know, these are just ideas to keep flowing. And, I, you know, when you look at it, look back on it, we're looking back on it, this is like kind of nonsensical because it's like we ended up going back to the original three words anyway. Yeah. Uh, present, persuade, preserve. But this actually opened up like, okay, well, what kind of uh, photos are we going to use or references are we going to use? What kind of drawings? What's the symbol that's going to represent and these we three concepts? Yeah, and we actually started with... Uh move them what it what is it like move them touch, touch lives, lives move, move them move move them with heart yeah yep. yeah that was on the other page but it wasn't open heart that was it uh, touch lives um, uh, then move, move minds move minds touch heart open heart open heart yeah but i think it was even a sentence too touch touch lives move minds with heart mm hmm so right, so that's what we that's what we originally had, and you even saw it if you were on the webinar. Is um, the reason we had that because he wasn't Joel wasn't really specific, and it helps us a lot if you're a little bit more specific on what you want because well, leaving he, it he up was, to artist interpretation. Right, that's yeah. what that's what his goal was is to just um, 
use what we come up with based on what he gave us, which was like a behind the scenes on the new uh, website. So that's what we got. And then later, after we showed it to him, he said to use the three words. But um, Yeah, which, I mean, it, it ultimately makes sense, but it's interesting because if we didn't go down this road, well, we wouldn't have had so much effort put into like trying to make everything fit mm -hmm. and morphing mm -hmm. everything. And uh, after we figured out the brainstorming process, which probably took like a day and a half to just figure that out. Then after that, it was like probably easy breezy because yeah. then the most the the rest of the time was like finding references to see how we blend it. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna click, close this down. And, and by the way, if you all don't know, this is called NDI, New Tech NDI. Um, really cool program. This is my old phone. I'm using it as a wireless camera through the <laughs> Wi-Fi. Well, let me go over to the PowerPoint here because Anna came up with this idea to have... Um, let me put myself over here. How about that? Hands, holding hands. Because what he did give us some... In, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Some insight to um, like what he represents, and that's what, and you'll see in the uh, behind the scenes that I was like asking, well, what what do you do? What interests you? What's like, what is Joel Bauer basically? Yeah. And he said he's a lot of touch. He's a lot of um, closeness. Um, connection right and he so, said he really specifically said touch mm -hmm. and um and then i was saying well that would work great with pitch because we were actually trying to line up with pitch mm -hmm. right and even touch lives you know trying to make a new statement with right it. each thing each um section represents something so like the part where it says touch lives that's the connection that's the pitch that's the right. hand holding Connect, the, it's connecting with somebody's connecting with your offer mm -hmm. right um, next was uh, move minds, so persuade. That's what the hand raise was, yeah, um, which even, would represent yeah persuade. That wasn't even in here. Look, we got the nope. the silhouette of a lady speaking out. <laughs> that was our next thing. That was our that was like one of the concepts of like what can we say which would be persuade. Yeah, yeah, we persuade. To, that's what like move talk. minds is all about. Yeah, like, and the final one is open heart which open heart. is a uh, presence you're opening your heart to the audience right because Joel even was saying on that on that consult you say he's like your I teach people how to be there to find their authentic voice their true voice but it's also being present right and having an open heart in the room connecting to your presence mm -hmm. so we even thought of like okay could we use like a beating heart like this right here mm -hmm. you know and, th and this is a little too like erratic yeah right um, I always try to find references so then I know um, the idea of what I'm looking for. Yeah, and then let me open up. And FYI, all artists use references. If they don't, then they are liars. Yeah, well, even in music. I even mean, in music, talk about references. it. Every, like, every, every rock musician is biting off a blues musician somewhere. You mm -hmm. know, so. 12 bar blues. Perfectly. Okay, so awesome. So here's Joel's site, and if we go, this is this is what he he gave us in advance to, um, to look at to look at to use as like a reference to see what um what we're building off of, what we need to build off of. See, like right there. See right here. Yeah, and then like this, we were actually looking at like, okay, are we gonna have something in the logo like move or flip? Right. I, I think you wanted like each letter to like spin off and show images of him, what he represents with each name. Yeah. Each letter represents something. At the same time, we thought that was too complicated. Yeah, especially with the timeline because yeah. of, of of illustrating a body, yeah. full body. Uh, so we were even even just that it was like it's hard to find. Um, videos of him that's not like uh seriously panned yeah <laughs> right so it would take a little a little bit of research and time again mm -hmm. it's like okay we'd have to like sort through right. uh, how much video mm -hmm. you know and so. we originally wanted uh why am i pointing i keep pointing to the screen mm -hmm. um 
you point. Yeah, here you go. Uh, Here's the pointer. Pointy point. Uh, right here, we wanted um, at first the gift to look like this, where it would be like this would be where the pre presence persuade pitch would be, and then here is the little um, box. This is where we wanted the animation to be, but when uh, Joseph like fiddled around with it in PowerPoint, he had. A whole bunch. Of yeah. Trouble. Well, at the end, I'll, I'll show you how that how we transform that at the end because it, right. it looked funky. Not, yeah, funky. That's where he moved it to the top, which I think looks a lot better. So let's go to more references, I guess. Um, well, let me go to on the website, and actually, here's I pulled these sites up. We actually took screenshots of this so we could uh, match the font, and because this isn't a standard font that you would see, this isn't one of Joel's standard fonts either. So we had to actually upload this into this program and go find and search this square serif font mm -hmm. and then download it and mm -hmm. have it make sure it worked and it, it worked right away in PowerPoint and Movavi yeah. so that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Next uh, was the uh, finding the exact color because you know how specific Joel is with color right? and, and what... Actually works. this picture has like multiple shades so I picked this one because it's easy. Five 226, 226. Mm -hmm. The hex code was easy. Mm -hmm. uh, downloaded the font right there. And then, you know, we actually we just started working on, uh, we looked at background videos or stock. We mm -hmm. found this stock footage for the heart video. Right. right? And again, it's just a reference. Like, mm -hmm. it's not it's exact not copy exact, there. Yeah. Um, we went, we probably skimmed that at least for the heart for what, a half hour probably? Oh, yeah. Probably a half hour on each one at least. Mm hmm. Right, we looked for the hand holding. We couldn't yeah. find anything we wanted because it was too intimate. So we, I have a video up here. We ended up creating our own. Mm -hmm. We made our own reference. I think we did like four five, of those, four, four or five. five. Yeah, and you know the last one was kind of the best one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, raising hands. That is. You know there weren't many of those, and we wanted to get that, something that, that was hard to find too. Yeah, we got this right here. Stock stock footage right there, and and again, it's not exact. She had to kind of go off off script, well, off script with that too, not exactly on the line. So mm -hmm. she used it as a model, but and hands hands are like the hardest to draw. Isn't that what you said? Like hands are freaking impossible. They hands, feet, that and backgrounds are like the most hardest thing an artist can draw. Literally, ask any artist you know; they will say what is. Ask them, what is the hardest thing to draw? Hands. They are freaking impossible. Yeah, and, and here I set her up for two references. We, we oh, have we our have first hands. scene that has two hands, and this one has hands. So, but she pulled it off. So, yeah. yeah. So then, you know, we put them up into PowerPoint. So, like, just, so just to kind of look at it, and, you know, we, we clipped them down and put them into WMVs. Mm -hmm. Here's our original. Uh, that works best with PowerPoint, with by right the way. Here, so. Yeah, WMV works best in PowerPoint. I'm just going to play it. There we go. And, and actually, we had to slow that one down because it's only like two seconds. So mm -hmm. I had to mm -hmm. stretch it out in Movavi. Mm -hmm. And also, it was partly an accident on the timing because there was the end where it like just pauses. I cut that part out. Remember? Uh, you went on the other one? No, on the hand holding. Yeah. It was it was like uh, we were holding at, we were holding hands and then it like kind of stopped for like a few seconds. So then I just cut that part out and it was like perfect timing with uh, the words that he made. Yeah. So that yeah, was it worked, out, it worked out really nicely because I had to I actually put together it'll be in the last section of this the, mm -hmm. how the PowerPoint was done. Mostly accidents. <laughs> Happy accidents. Happy accidents. Yeah. And then yeah, here's the hand holding. Boom, boom. They all come up, and then, of course, the background, they all kind of, like, clap a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I cut that, though. Yep. Then we got the heart. The heart was a little difficult because um, of the sparkles, and I couldn't really draw each individual sparkle. That would take forever. So I decided to just make my own um, transition from raising hands to the heart, which was... Probably the most challenging out of the whole um, 
animated GIF. Yeah. Because they're, they, it was really hard for all three of them because none of them are like similar shapes. And that's the best thing. If you have similar shapes, it is a little bit easier to transition because you could like mold it or like form it into um, into that shape, right? Like if if the hand holding and the heart was right next to each other, they were they're like it's almost like a heart itself. So then that would have been easy to like actually transform it into a heart. However, yeah. we put it in different orders. Yeah. So yeah. We'll, I'm surprised yeah. I even pulled that off. We don't That's have the website out there, but we were looking up even like uh, Disney transitions, transfer, okay, call it a transformation they, animation. They don't have any transition animation whatsoever. I have looked for years, can't find it. Yeah, so we were, I was like, okay, well, let's break it up. And I like, did all, like the one is like, break it up in different like sections and then like, Mm -hmm. I think it's the hands that go to the other yep. hands, right? It like squiggles over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's just like, well, how will we do this frame by frame, you know? So, I pulled it off somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I did it. And you got you got to remember, she doesn't work for Disney or something doing nope. animation every day. Nope. It's, uh, it's been a, 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 a talent, a hobby, a passion. She's a, a still graphic artist. Her graphic art, that's really been your forte over everything. It's yep. like... It, that that'll just blow your mind. Mm -hmm. You know, put that up there. But uh, I'm gonna I'll close this up, and I think there's one more reference here. I think I just pulled up uh, in Movavi itself. I ended up adding some filters, so I, I, I threw the videos in here and to uh, make the make the outline so that it'd be easier for me to trace. But uh, honestly, it actually wasn't. I thought it would be. I thought it was a great idea until I actually started doing it, and then it was like, this is impossible because I it was hard to see over the onion skin, which is like this little, it, it, it like makes it see-through, makes the background see-through so then you can like draw over it. Um, yeah, but watch it, you know, it's so like frame by frame, one frame, mm -hmm. it allows you to see the, either the previous frame or the frame after it, mm -hmm. and like a, a, a lighter or thicker shade. Yeah, and... This was, it just wouldn't show through as well as I thought it would. The raising hand were, was the hardest. See, like that, that kind of, that threw me off more because there, if you see like a black outline, there's a shadow that's actually a shadow and the shadow was throwing me off because I thought it was like a fingernail or something. But, um. Oh yeah, because it looks like. Your, yeah, your, yeah, another piece of your yeah. arm. See, so that, that part definitely threw me off. Um, the raising hands was the hardest because it was like so see-through at a point that yeah. I could not especially, figure it out. Especially in the beginning there. Yeah. So, you know, it was, but it was a working model and we, there was limited time. It's like, okay, now we got this, just, just, just do it. Let's compile it. So I, you know, Adapt and overcome. This, I rendered it down into an MP4, and then passed it over, mm -hmm. and that's where the, uh, the the magic started to begin. And I, and uh, luckily for us, we got it done sooner than when Joel requested. He requested it, he requested it to be done by Tuesday afternoon, yeah. his time. Yeah. So like one o'clock his We're time. Four o'clock our time. Yeah. He needs to. So, um, we actually got it done Monday night. I think late Monday night, like maybe 11, 10, I think 11. so. It might have been before that or a little earlier than that. Yeah. yeah. So, we managed to get it done in time, which was very helpful because then Joel could um, call us and talk to us and mm -hmm. say, like, here's the little tweaks. Well, yeah, with the, the words, especially. Yeah. yeah. We have to fix the words. Yeah, I think he showed the before and after on the call. Mm-hmm. Because, um, uh, you know, and we were like, man, we were thinking about the just using the words, you know, yeah. it would have been nice to have it, that, that one home run, the mm -hmm. whole home run. But. but it's the thing of being vague. He was very vague on how he wanted it to look and how, what he wanted to say. So, um, we just went, okay, we'll do an artist challenge thing. But I know, I mean, this is this is creativity as it is, mm -hmm. um, and that's what you do, uh, collaborating with people, and be like, well, if you don't like it, then 
Just tell us yeah. or be and, more specific. And and that's a being specific is Very hey, Joel, Joel talks about that all the time. Right? Precision model. I learned early last year about working with a couple of people who we weren't specific in the beginning on our agreements. And then when it came to time for delivery, they were really angry mm -hmm. and, and they want to own up to the fact that they were being too vague. And, and it's like, if you be specific, if you're, if you're general, you're going to get generalized results. Don't be mad at me. Mm -hmm. So we, we also didn't know that the, the pitch thing is new. In the his, pitch has one of the words. Yeah. yeah. On his new website, he goes, uh, present, persuade, pitch. Well, yeah, uh, I think it's like, you know, master the, the art of the pitch, mm -hmm. the science of persuasion. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he usually uses preserve, right? In the past, yeah, he used preserve, yeah. Right. So this was the, you know, the, the first phase of this before passing it off. And, I, and then, you know, I realized, I hope that this picture back here, this is a furnished apartment. <laughs> I forgot that this freaking photos back here it's, it, it, hopefully it doesn't offend anybody this is this is artwork in and of itself right mm -hmm. Art, artist artist inspiration mm -hmm. but i find them to be really cheesy as it is so that's it i think mm -hmm. that's that's it for the first phase mm -hmm. we'll uh switch over to anna in the next phase of this mm -hmm. running through the uh, animation and then we'll actually throw up uh, the three words in the end okay here we are at phase two where we have dropped the video into Adobe Animate. Animate, right? It is Adobe Animate. Adobe Animate, yep. Yeah, and show show them the, the glove you got. I got, I got the. That's how you know she's the real deal. They don't make gloves yeah. like that, are you? Nope. <laughs> it makes your uh, hand slide easier over the tablet. The tablet. Okay, show off her lovely presence down mm -hmm. below there instead mm -hmm. of the other camera. Mm -hmm. But we want you to focus on um, how the breakdown of um, my part in animating the um, the, the gif, the challenge gif. Right, the video itself. You the know, gif, gif. There's, there's where the, the real blood, sweat, and tears happens. Whew. Yeah, you, you can see, she'll point out with the cursor here that I mean, this has done the, the, uh, the format, really, the window is a box. It's yep. pretty much a square. And, and that's what we wanted to have to fit in where Joel's signature is in the in this new logo. It's actually mm -hmm. a box mm -hmm. with the signature inside. And we're gonna end on the signature. Yep. Right? We're gonna end on the signature in this video, in this sequence. Mm -hmm. And she had drawn it all out a and the rough the, the the rough sketch mm -hmm. and it was in the widescreen format 16 by 9. yep and i had to redraw it and she tried to resize it it didn't work so she started over again didn't didn't that wasn't that like uh pushing through it and like finished it by uh like midnight well, or 1 a.m yeah. or something like that that, was that on even Saturday? I think I think Saturday, Saturday and, then, and Sunday when I finished, I like cleaned it up a little bit. Right, so a lot of the details were worked out already though, the kinks of like how to, how she was going to change certain things or morph them or see how they're going to work. Mm -hmm. So the second go around, a lot of that was worked out. It doesn't make it any easier to go back and redraw it. Here is see. the reference and this is what I used to like trace over it, um, sketch it out. You can see, let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can turn that off. As you can see, I use like many layers so then they don't um, like merge together and I'll screw up. So it's helpful that it's on a separate layer. So here is the uh, So like the layer reference. being like the video is the layer. Uh, one animation's a layer, another yep. animation's a layer. Yep. Or... Okay, and see how the the see this box. This is what we wanted to um, fit the animation in, in the first place. But that wasn't until afterwards that I showed him the rough sketch. That it was like, you know, we're supposed to do a box, right? I was like, oh crap. <laughs> right, because this was going to be in the box, and then the words were going to change on their own outside mm -hmm. of the box. And I'll actually show that in the, the next phase of this in in, in, Mojave, in in the video editor how that really didn't work anyway. <laughs> it, oh. it, it, 
it was it was a challenge. Oh uh, yeah, it was, this was a this whole thing was a challenge, wasn't it? Uh, the leisure site. Uh, let me see here. Okay. okay, so yeah, you got your hand layer. And like, what was the challenges with the hand layer? The challenges with the hand layer was, um, if you can see, like right, let me see, like, like right here, especially, see, like this little black, this thin black line right here. Um, right. I mentioned we we mentioned earlier that uh, the problem with this was the the this little uh, black part that he suggested that um, he outline it so that it'd be easier for me to draw. I thought it was a good idea. Then it wasn't until I started drawing it. As you can see, it right. kind of like it's a, blends in. It's a filter. In. I took the original one in Movavi. I turned it. I put a filter on it, and it looks like this. So mm -hmm. like, okay, maybe that's a little easier. But... Yeah, I, I thought it would, but um, this this little this is actually a shadow, and the shadow was throwing me off big time because it looks like well that could be like the rest of the arm. No, it's not. It's actually the shadow, and this is where. Um, See, that's where the arm actually is. That's a re the rest is the shadow. So that was. And it could potentially look funky if yep. you don't do that right. Mhm. Mm and see, like here's a here's a big one. Like, see, just let me see. Uh, see, like right there, that's a huge shadow right there. And I thought it was like an extension of the fingers until later I realized, oh wait, that doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, something, I, something we didn't really think about because behind your hand there the one on the left to the left of the scene the, the lamp is right there mm -hmm. right so it's like shining that way we have two lamps there's yeah. two lamps shining that way yep. and we're just not, not thinking about it in the moment while mm -hmm. we're doing that see i kind of like trace over it and even though even then it's like still wobbly so then i had to fix that i did we had an idea to transition like see we his suggestion was to transition, uh, so, um, like the hands burst and yeah, right, turn right. into squiggles, see, and then it forms into the raising hands, but the thing was, it was hard to, like, how the heck do we get the raising hands into, um, where, where did the heart go? The heart. Right that I was like, what the heck do I do with that? Yeah, she came up with that one uh, on the fly. On that, the was fly by, that was that was by accident. I was thinking, well, is there something I can do with this to like somehow morph it into this? So this was totally an accident, and I thought it looked so freaking cool, so then I left it in there. So let me see here. See? It like... And I yeah, drew that it's like by all, hand. All the, all the lines kind of like condensed down and rolled over, mm -hmm. and then turned and, and came around into yep, the shape into of that a heart. Swirl. Um, yeah, that was like a little tricky because I didn't have a reference for that, and usually I like references. Um, there is like I said before, there is like nothing. There's like no reference or how to even do a transition. Of like one thing to another, you yeah. just have to know it or go to animation school. And there's certain. Well, we looked it up. There was like an, there's animation transformations and there's certain uh, tricks that you can use, but they did none of them really fit this besides breaking up what you had and reforming it. And even then, it's it was still not like they didn't exactly have to explain it like break down yeah. how we're explaining this. Or like if it was a solid shape. Let's say it was like a, a, a square or something, right? Mm -hmm. It was outlined. You could kind of like morph it into a, a heart like that, right. frame by frame. But it, what, this wasn't like that at all. Yep. And uh, I think I've said before as well. See, like right here, that that can be kind of a heart, right? There's like something. It's yeah, it's like it, was, it looks like it a heart like as is. Upside down or whatever. It could like turn. Yeah, it right? could like spin out of control and turn into a heart. However, this looks nothing like a heart, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. So, well, go go back to where you had um, the hands for a second, where the we had the two hands together, mm -hmm. and how that blew up, like how you transitioned that, like it, it expanded a little bit. That was right also there. an accident. 
but it, that's how you, you we made it work right yeah. and to kind of like expanding and blowing up mm -hmm. well i was i was thinking first blowing it up um so i just like resized it with each frame until it kind of um broke apart and turned into little squiggles Right. And we were trying to keep the, the blue white balance too. We yeah. About that. We originally this. wanted like the raising hands to be um, blue and white each. Blue, uh, white, blue, white, blue. So then we wanted to keep it the same like the, um, uh, the holding hands, but I think I forgot that. All right, the contrasting and the blue and white. You'll notice that the words kind of go, they, mm -hmm. they rotate as well. In the, in the colors. And you'll notice Joel does that too. Yeah, Joel does that like with his name, especially on pictures or, or mm -hmm. logos and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and he was the one to remind me that that's what I was supposed to do, but we were kind of out of time as is. Yeah, um, I, well, you, I think you did it on the first time, the first the first one you did. So, like, yeah. So, having to redo <laughs> it again is just one as a detail that we got lost in the mix. We were just mm -hmm. like, let's finish it, let's mm -hmm. go. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I really couldn't have done it without Mr. Uh, Optimist right here. Well, Optimist. Optimist. Who's Optimist. Mr. Optimist. But, I mean, mm -hmm. you, justice alone, though, the, the, this was the meat of the product right here. So mm -hmm. it, took, it took her just constantly grinding, a continuous, mm -hmm. continuous grind. So the, the support and support uh, definitely the, helps. the meal maker and the drink yeah. bringer <laughs> over here. <laughs> Yep, I had to draw each individual frame, and sometimes some of these frames were too uh, too fast, like this. This transition was like really, really fast, so I had to actually add extra frames to it to make it a little slower. And then the heart, this exploding thing, was, uh, I think that was your idea, wasn't it? Well, we worked with what we had, and mm -hmm. you, you had ideas, and you were working with different things. You're like, well, when you, when you asked me, you said, well, how mm -hmm. about we... And, and you came up with that little... Uh, you definitely came up with that little spinning thing, how it comes from the background, because yeah. it's like one object, and mm -hmm. it just like rotates. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. And then the heart itself is, is like a formed object, so she could just blow it up evenly. Mm-hmm. And it explodes. Uh, and I mirrored it. Um... It might be on this layer. Yep. So, so we, we, were, we were saying like after that explosion happens that the uh, yeah, signature see. can start to happen. See, yep. And see how how uh, many, these little black dots right here each, is each, each, each frame. frame. <laughs> um, so I, had, I drew this extra. I drew each in between frames. So then look a little smoother, which I think it came out not too bad. Right. And then the, um, so that looking so smooth, like in frame to frame, does that have what you call the tweens on it? Like it has an effect on it that makes it like fill in the gap a little bit? Uh, no, I just use no? regular in between where I just hand draw okay. each line. And in between, let's just show an onion skin here. Um, see, that's what onion skin is. And Joel, and if you watched the, most likely you did watch the uh, webinar, where he says that this is what Walt Disney did back in the oldie times. With, with physical onion skins. Yep. Yeah. The yep. onion skin layers, very thin. Very thin paper. Paper, you yes. can see through. Mm -hmm. And that's why it was originally called onion skin, because that thin layer of onion is see-through once you take each uh, peel off. Mm -hmm. So that's what um, this is, and this is like hand frame by frame time-consuming uh, drawing. So then you can see like that's what in-betweening is, is you draw between each frame. So then it looks a lot smoother and it's um, a lot more even. See how each, the green line is uh, what is the next frame. So I just drew like each. And there's another layer you can use that someone before, right? Yep, the blue one is blue before. Two. Okay. It doesn't really show up well on this though because the green is kind of blocking it because right. it's already... So that started to form on its own after the explosion and then you kind of crystallized it and mm -hmm. then had it start to expand 
kind of with the heart, right? And yeah. then the heart disappeared. Mm -hmm. If I did this over again, we would definitely uh, like maybe fade out the heart because it kind of just, once again, out of time. It definitely if we had a little bit more time and not like, surprise, we're going to do a challenge in like three days. Um, which wasn't really Joel's fault. He didn't know, and neither did we. Yeah. It was, so, um, there was a little bit of just, uh, I don't want to say disconnect, but mm -hmm. expectation difference mm -hmm. on each side. But at the same time, I think it also makes it a lot, he thought it looked a lot more impressive because it, I finished it in like three days, and this would probably be like, um, maybe like, a couple maybe a week's worth of a week and, and normal time of coming back to it and, yeah, and like, normal working without pushing so hard yeah um and actually like uh fixing it you know like making it look all nice and nice right. instead of this Tweaking like it. like with the the like with the signature i should have um just copied the frame and just drew each frame so that it would look more even than how it looks a little uh, bumpy. So right. I would have done that better. I would have um, definitely done the hands better. Like I said before, hands well, let, impossible. Let, let, let's let's say another thing too, though, like the fact that like so many tweaks have been worked out in this model alone. If somebody wants this model, it'd, it'd be a lot faster because all mm -hmm. the tools are already available. You can just focus right. on the the. Tweaking it the the design and mm -hmm. then also like the animation so it's like okay it'll be really quick it could be half a day or something mm -hmm. right right and also you don't need to have exactly this some things will be a lot faster than others depending on what you want you don't have to have like exactly this um this design you can have something totally different yeah, I'm sure even like a, a silhouette is like a nice to work with if it's their own silhouette, right? Mm -hmm. Or like a silhouette with certain features that are distinctive or whatever mm -hmm. that kind of move however you want them. Mm -hmm. Or just like uh, taking like this image that I know most of the Joel people have mm -hmm. um, and just like kind of move it from frame to like just across the screen. It's like moving in and out. That's... Right. Okay. So as it's as it's growing like mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. the smooth what they call tweening. Yep. Which is short for in between. In betweening. It fills in the blanks. Yep. Um. So it could be you could do something like a lot cooler than this. I don't know. Uh, I know uh, most of you peoples out there are very creative, so. Um, yeah, the, the, vision and, the vision and discovery process really helps to, to mm -hmm. hammer it out. Mm -hmm. Let's say it can't be like what we did trying to help assist the process, yep. but it's a lot faster when, when it's really clear to begin with. And we can mm -hmm. help with branding too if you need that. It's like um, we, we do it all pretty much. <laughs> uh, and if you just need, a, if you just need a, like a drawing, I can do that too. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that on on the end part. We're gonna we're gonna sample. We're gonna show some of the actual graphic designs too, mm -hmm. so, so it can like, be part of a package for other things. You know, if you want your own distinct with your mm -hmm. with your body logo or whatever or another logo, that's mm -hmm. she's really good at still still photo. Yep. But so. in, in, in the end, there too, I just want to add that that she was really concerned about. Well, I wish we could take the the back end of the GIF and then re like, reform it again so that it just goes seamlessly mm -hmm. into... Which would look really cool, but uh, once again, we didn't have time. There there would be some way I could like transition the, uh, the hand-holding to... Um, or from the signature into the hand-holding? Yeah. But... Which, which would have been like completely seamless so then it would just go on a loop and it wouldn't have this little stopping thing well i think it kind of i think it kind of caps it off because especially mm -hmm. for like the brand and be like a commercial da, 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 right. open heart joel bauer right right to do 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> people, that's how they're thinking in their mind, right? Mm-hmm. And cool. the thing with this, though, even, even for myself, I just kept watching it. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> when, when it was, was when it like was done, yeah, when it was done, mm-hmm. didn't you didn't you put it on your phone and you watch it for like twenty minutes? Probably. Oh. I was like seeing, is there anything else like you know, is like wrong here, you tweaked, or it's gonna be, you know, a, a problem? And I couldn't find it. So, of course, I saw a whole bunch of problems with it because I'm a perfectionist and I want it to look good. Yeah, she thought it was awful. She thought that was the, the end of the world. You're like, what if Joel doesn't like this, man? You think Joel's gonna even gonna like this thing? What if, yep. what, what if everybody thinks it just makes fun of me for my for terribleness? My yep. Because sadly, she's been put in positions in the past where that would be the case in front of an audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's that pretty much sums up. Which is what we just want to show, even though we did show in the other ballerina presentation kind of what's involved this is actually this project Mm -hmm. and we are just kind of crunching down and you can't really unless we were actually recording you doing it Mm -hmm. there's no way to really detail how how grinding it was you can just kind of imagine frame by frame Mm -hmm. right and going through and there were a lot of uh times where you erased it right like the hands so you'd have a concept and go a few frames and go "Mm, no Mm -hmm. and come back Yep. So there's a lot of that going on. Mm-hmm. And you can and you can see like it can it can be I can customize stuff. If you need it like different, you don't even need it in a box. You could just have it like in the rectangle that I originally had. You could have it right. like huge. You could have it itty bitty so then you could put it on your website. I, I don't know what uh, you it, want to use it for, but I can I can do it. The box is really cool though and really nice because it can mm-hmm. fit in social media. It can fit. It, it's great. I sent it to a few people on the phone, you know, and, and boom, right through text message. Mm-hmm. It's it's the gift it helps. fits anywhere. You, know, you can throw it in like Joel says, he's gonna throw it in a corner of slides. Mm-hmm. You could create a brand new one that maybe moves re morphs really slowly down in the corner here during mm-hmm. presentation, just really slowly, mm-hmm. right? And you did the PowerPoint stuff, right? So, yeah, I don't sure. even know if anybody caught on that it's PowerPoint, but I'm going to detail how mm-hmm. the, how I did that because uh, I don't think a lot of people utilize or use PowerPoint in that way. I've never mm-hmm. seen anybody uh, talk about it that way. I just knew mm-hmm. that it there's it has capabilities and you can kind of stretch out. Mm-hmm. And see how uh, this is, we really didn't know what this was for. He didn't, Joel did not exactly say like, make it as if you were making it for like a website if you're making it to um, make a conversion ad advertisement right so that's when he said can you change it to joelbauer.com so then it's more like an ad yeah and the voiceover it's kind of it's kind of funny because i was tapping into him thinking about the voiceover part of it you know because you could say you, you know i know his actual language you can preserve those mission critical life or release, preserve those mission critical relationships for a lifetime right there. Mm-hmm. But we could slow it down so that it actually it fits. We mm-hmm. don't want to slow it down too much, but we can get right. some stretch room in there yep. on, in the editor. Mm-hmm. And may, mm-hmm. Maybe we even uh, find the sound effects. We were just talking about this with movies. You know how mm-hmm. she said it started with Inception. I never thought about that before. It goes, the movie Inception, the first trailer, when it came out, they had a whole bunch of blah. It's like boom. And then, well, pull up, pull it up again. Did you already close it? Or? Uh, yeah, so like as it moves, like boom, <laughs> boom. You know, persuade those who were shut down. Boom. <laughs> it's just yeah. a, a sound effect. You know, you can throw little sound effects in there for your own little trailer. Yep. These are just ideas. Mm-hmm. We can we can do a lot and. Um, a consulting part of it is going to probably uh, help a lot more for both of us, for us and you, to um, figure out what you're actually looking for. Right. But this is, uh, you know, this is a very unique thing. And, and mm-hmm. I think Joel, Joel mentioned, it, you know, we, we show this because... This is, uh, you don't want to get into doing this <laughs> unless you have the, the, the training or, you know, the inspiration mm-hmm. to have actually done it. It's like playing guitar. I've been playing mm-hmm. guitar for 20 years now, over 20 years, yep. 21 years. And 
it takes it took me well i played like a maniac for six months but mm -hmm. it's it, the fingers the coordination you know, getting into it if you're not wired for it don't even try <laughs> <laughs> yep it, it, it'll just be frustrating mm -hmm. see the eggs yeah mm -hmm. i actually took that out so yep so see this is the basic structure on what i do to um start the process and what I have to do, um, let's look at any pressure. I just have to erase. Where is it? Right, and this is like you, mm -hmm. like when you do a regular, a graphic drawing, yep. like a character or something. Yep. You're starting with circles and swirls. Yep, and see how I have to like, and I have to redraw it too because see how it's not gonna look, it's not gonna look great unless I like. See, I have to like sketch it out. I have to make it look a lot better than it does. I have to erase the lines. Right. Um, make them a little thinner, a little thicker. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll just look funky. So you just uh, that's that's the time-consuming part is that um, just so it doesn't look look super funky. So you have to like know where the lines go. So basically, so that. those couple of frames were are, are, are kind of what was left in there from mm -hmm. connecting the dots with everything else, right. and it just kind of took it out in the editor. Mm -hmm. And see, like with this, I would have um, kept the little circles in the back as fingers, just as like a fingerprint almost when you press your hand against um, against a window, a window yeah. or a mirror. It like looks, it's got like this little like imprint I guess you'd call it that would have been cool to like leave that in as it's transitioning but and luckily Joel wants another one specifically for himself this was just a challenge thing to see if I could get it done by um, Tuesday the webinar on Tuesday so now I'm gonna do um, a better one for him. Oh yeah, one with silhouettes and all that. Yeah. yeah, a little closer to what he wanted. And we said this too, where it's like this is part of the creative process, mm -hmm. where you you actually actually do it and get to a certain point, and you go, well, now I it took this point to make me realize, oh, this is actually what I want. Mm -hmm. So that happens a lot. Right. So that's why we're gonna probably do multiple consults with you to. Uh, like check in, show you what we got, check back in to see if you like it or not, if you want us to keep going in this kind of direction or like do a 180 and turn back the other direction. Yeah. All right. So. So yeah, from here, we're going to jump over to the final process. To Joseph and PowerPoint. Well, PowerPoint and Movavi and, you know, compiling it all down. Yep. Okay. We we're here at phase three. Which is the PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint editing. slash editor, really, really the editor itself. Um, but uh, you can see right here, I'm going to show you the, the thought process while Anna was working on the on, on the animation itself. It kind of got started here, so we can start working out the kinks here because, like we were saying, well, just like in the animation, when she had to redo it all over again to make sure we can uh, catch all the you know, broken links in the chain mm -hmm. as early as possible or things that don't work. So the first idea was that here in Movavi, like they have a little title structure. I'll, I'll click up here. You can actually uh, add titles. Now these mm -hmm. are the, the stock titles where, you know, they're, they give you a handful. They're okay. Uh, well, here's that's featured all. You, you can, you can play with these, really well you can do some really good stuff with them but it is limited and they have other ones you can purchase i didn't know they had that yeah, That's cool. yeah they give you they give you enough to work with like you know getting started on anything mm -hmm. and i knew they had a kind where it just kind of it kind of presented it, it it just flashed in and i figured that you could actually take the title and then move it wherever you want it right like this one is in the middle of the screen 
we were originally, I remember talking about the long form and then having the square on the end. So I figured, okay, well, maybe we can adjust it. If putting it into practice, the title itself shows up like this. I, I added titles, and when you hit play, you can see that, okay, they come up. It has the font that we found, the mm -hmm. square, serif, bold. Yeah. Um, you can set up the timings of these. You know, these are, mm -hmm. what, approximately over four seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes in. But the problem that I found was when I went to go edit it is I was limited in my touch. Size. Like, I could have put it on there, but it was... Size-wise? Yeah, size. And when I tried to edit anything else about it, it just seemed like it needed more. Mm -hmm. Right? So... This was okay, and this we could have kept this, but I'm like, it, it needs a little bit more. Like, that's okay, but we we wanted something. We were originally Extra. talking about it, like, flipping, mm -hmm. right? So I thought, okay, there's a there's something I used before in PowerPoint because I know PowerPoint actually has certain features we were talking about, mm -hmm. and I did something with PowerPoint before where I – let me just open – up this one here where I took it in this menu right here if I go to recording you can export your slides you can actually set up a, a slideshow so if I go to slideshow I wonder if it'll play the whole thing from the beginning let's see All right this is the slideshow. This is kind of what we were envisioning. After yeah. we went through a bunch of the transitions, we were like, no, that one's not good. Especially yeah. you know, they have curtains, they have ones that slide in. Yeah, we went through a whole bunch of. Whole yeah, bunch of and them. it's not set up like this normally as far as the uh, timing goes. We, we stretch it out because it actually goes really fast at first. So right. we wanted it to be able to stretch out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But as far as like getting the vision, I mean, geez, I, I, I'm like cutting out what maybe a half hour of what yeah. I pulled you aside and we were oh, looking yeah. through the transitions and like oh let's play with this timing mm -hmm. and then how to get the end to, we were actually had, had the end loop back mm -hmm. towards constantly transitioning mm -hmm. so you know we played with that and we, we kind of got it where we wanted it mm -hmm. and uh, you can see it, this is exactly how it looks on the screen now if I escape this let's see, escape you can see that the slide size here is I had to I got a custom slide so slide slide, slide size. size custom slide size so I wanted the height as I was looking at it, to be two inches sometimes the height you can look at it, it'll be uh, you know it'll give you a ratio of pixels mm -hmm. but in PowerPoint it actually gives you inches and I thought okay two inches looks good the way it looks right. so. We wanted it to be this way because the entire slide, if we had a, the original big rectangle, mm -hmm. what happens is it sets up that way and it, it, it comes through like this saying actually fills up the entire screen. Yeah. And we wanted it to stay like in a little window, like a little box. Right. So it didn't fill up this gigantic area when we had a box next to it. Mm -hmm. It all kind of wanted to, we wanted to keep it you know, nice and tight and even with each other as the as the box was, you know, turning, this wasn't getting out of control. Right. Right. So this got all set up and the original one, it didn't even have this box here. Right. We set this up after we ran it with the regular words in mm -hmm. here, because we're like, okay, we'll just put the overlay video, we'll put the changing video right here. Yep. And actually have a project in Movavi that I'll show you that it has that. And that's where stuff gets complicated. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we, we saved a few of these, and the way that was done was in recording. We, uh, we thought we had it in the bag when we had the little uh, little um, title popped up. We thought, oh, that looks awesome. Now let's add a square to it. Yeah, I, keep, I had to, like, put this object here, square, as an exact square. It took me a while to get that, and put it in here in the space and make each one have the perfect spacing. And you said right? there was a problem with it, right? Yeah, well, putting it in Movavi, when I bring up that project, I'll, I'll show the mm -hmm. issues that we have with that. But what I was saying is this little this little idea here, if nobody knows, this recording tab in uh, PowerPoint, you can go to options. This isn't standard. 
you know you won't see this you have to go into options and it'll allow you to pop up this recording tab and you can export to video mm -hmm. um, you can create the video I think I went down to 720 just not to make it as big and as complicated right. um, and we put the recorded timings in there. I left the recorded timings. This is how you can set it up. So the timing for the transitions was set at, uh, I think, three and a half seconds, mm -hmm. right? And the timing of the slide, so it didn't stay on point. So the transition happens for, for three and a half seconds, and then it stops for a second, and then for just like a moment, mm -hmm. a couple frames, and then it moves again. Right. And at the final slide, I left the slide, it, it, it has a timing of I think five seconds I let it I let it ride out so this option right here allows uh, use recorded timings uh, and narrations right right so when you do that and hit create video I'm not going to do that right now because I've already created them it just creates an mp4 with the exact timings it looks just like the slideshow oh that's yeah. really cool automatically by itself Awesome. So then I could take that that video, that MP4, mm -hmm. and drop it right into uh, right into Movavi. All right. So, you know, okay. Since, since I thought of that, okay, okay, let's let's do this. Let's go over to opening up the project. So this right here is actually all edited. Mm -hmm. um, if I throw in the original video, you can see the the clips here, mm -hmm. right? Uh, here, I had to add the rectangle in there. Right. Um, if I go and throw this in here, let's go and play it. You can see that's we have the little bar, mm -hmm. and we have our little box with with our with the animation. Right. I'm jumping ahead here a little bit, but since we have it open, mm -hmm. you can see this is kind of the the first rough idea. I go, okay, well, how well does this work? And you can see it was having even a problem with keeping the box up there. Yep. It just disappeared. That didn't look any good. Right. Um, getting him to adjust, let me hit edit as overlay. Like it, it got crazy because I had to actually crop this. And it was, I think, set up like this to begin with because it was a little bar. So let me hit apply there. And it looks like a mess. It just right. it started freezing up. Yeah. <laughs> she told me, and she saw me like yelling at the computer. This yeah. thing sucks. <laughs> yep, I remember that. <laughs> okay, there we go. But you can see right here, even with this, where the animation was, it was like, okay, that doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. uh, we rendered it down. I actually put it into a GIF right there. Uh, let's go to let's see, show present this right here. This is what it looked like a, as a GIF, but that's not even MP4 anymore. Mm -hmm. And GIF lowers the quality a little bit, so you can see you can hardly see the animation there. Yep. And so we're like, tiny. that looks terrible. Uh -huh. How you how are you going to use that in any format, any website or anything? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's okay, but not great, not compelling, and not like not like impactful to go, wow, you know, it's going to make somebody say, yeah, I, I really want to check that. It'd mm -hmm. be like. Well, that looks okay, and I can see you put a lot of time into it, but really it's, it's kind of choppy, and it could use some work. We don't we don't want that on a first try when somebody's saying, you know, yep. show me what you got. Yep. So Let's um, get rid of this. This is where Plan W comes in. Plan W. Yep. We've gone through a whole bunch of alphabet in this uh, in this uh, draft, right? Yeah, let me uh, let me pull up real quick. The let me just create a new project here. Uh, don't save, and I'll add. I think it's this one here. No, it's, it's this right here. This was uh, what would you call it? Joel thingy finished. Yep. <laughs> this is the final animation that she rendered mm -hmm. from Animate and sent it over. But if I put it in here. And play you can see there's a long pause here at the beginning mm -hmm. and I usually right. make a huge space just in case because I thought I was going to merge the hand holding thing to uh, the logo to transform into the hand holding so I didn't have time to do that so that's why I left a whole bunch of um, space 
there. Yeah, and, and you can see like, well, if we go right up right there, there's yeah. a few frames in there where she had like the uh, little flat there, her reference, oh, there it goes. Yeah. Go real slow right there. Maybe frame by frame. It would allow me to do that. Oh, it's, it's like a little flash. It's like Fight Club yeah. where Brad Pitt just flashes in. If you yeah. don't know that about the movie Fight Club, <laughs> they yeah. start to flash him in there. Yeah. But yeah. that that's in there. And then, you know, it's like almost like double. There's a space in there. <laughs> and then the hands pop back up. Mm -hmm. This little transition here is actually kind of, it, it doesn't work with the animation. So let me pull this in. Let's go pull this in as, as an overlay. I think I actually had this. Let's see, I had this in. Pull this up here, add video track. Just like that. Mm. Okay, so if we play these together, let me edit as overlay. You can see I, I actually have to crop it here. So crop. See, it starts me off with this weird formatting, so I have to mm -hmm. stretch the crop all the way out, which normally you have to take a crop and you're cropping down, not right. cropping up. Right, that's weird. It's because of the whole ratio of it. Mm -hmm. Um, apply and then let's go edit as overlay and I think what it is even more so is that I'm in 16.9 so uh, here we go 1.1 one, one. <laughs> yep. so let me edit that as overlay Right? So it gets really funky when you got to play around with this. I didn't even have this much trouble before. Mm -hmm. So let me even just play that over top just like it is. I'll have to move it down and see how it starts. We just have to have mm -hmm. timing. Right. right. So this whole thing had to be edited down. Mm -hmm. Let me get over to here. I had to chop it up, right. speed up transitions. Yeah, I see that. Cause look how long the bottom one is compared to the little one right above it. Yeah, and this this ends right at about I think this one ends at 16, but it, it, I stretched one of it, slowed one of them down, so it ended up being around 17 seconds mm -hmm. because it was manipulated. Yeah. So there's a lot of cutting involved, mm -hmm. rearranging, getting the the timings and the frames just right. Right. And uh, Movavi doesn't allow you to, unfortunately, at least this version, I don't know if they cleaned it up, but it doesn't allow you to open up like multiple windows. That's mm -hmm. the only downside with it. I don't know. Can you do that in um, After Effects or Premiere Pro? Yep. Like, yeah. Well, you know, this isn't like super complicated and expensive, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's uh, intuitive and simple. That's the whole trade off yeah, that you get. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement to like iMovie or something like super duper simple because that's like too simple this one's like this is like a nice transition from iMovie to uh, Premiere Pro yeah like a, a halfway in between mm -hmm. iMovie yeah because iMovie that's like using you know any kind of clip editor on your phone that, mm. yeah exactly but as you can see like we go we have the actual edited part of this, I think I can show where this is the speed is at 120% for that little transition. I think this one might be even slower. It's 100. Okay. Oh, this one's down to 46%. The actual wow. signature. So I slowed that way down so it could, it could ride in really slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just to emphasize that, you know, it took the, even putting it in the editor of the final result putting these layers in there and putting that in and it just took time yeah then when Joel asked for changing the words the uh, the good news was that the they were just easily uh, changeable in, in PowerPoint right and it had the timings and everything and so I could just render a new one mm -hmm. and I think I have the final result up here I, I could render a new one I went to PowerPoint I changed each word Obviously, I think we took out the box by that point. Right. Right. And then uh, putting joelbauer.com in there, we had to 
where you change the size of the font a little, but really it was only a few tweaks, and it may have taken 10 minutes to, to change everything? Yeah, he even asked. He said, uh, how long is it, does it take to change it? Because he didn't want us to uh, spend, like, another... 16 hours on this thing. Yeah, so thankfully, I mean, the whole setup is already done. So the design, if somebody wanted that design, mm -hmm. they've got all the stuff tweaked out just for that format. If they like that, like, I want that, just maybe some different colors. Right. You know, we can just go in there, copy that, and, and do this all day. Mm -hmm. And make sure, you know, we have the format down to the square, the 1-1 yeah. the, the one, one mm -hmm. format right there. But this was the final project right here. Boom. And the timing of uh, joelbauer.com writing out it just stays mm -hmm. and what's really nice about movavi if i were to say export video there it is it's still set on gif gives all right. you all these options mm -hmm. you know set up as mp4 and the gif turned out beautifully mm -hmm. i mean we we, we uh, opened it up and looked at the gif mm -hmm. and it was just like oh that's, that's awesome. it yeah. <laughs> That's it. We were expecting even we were going to send the MP4 mm -hmm. originally. Like, okay, well, what, what could he do with that? And we're like, oh no, no, the GIF because it'll loop around, yeah. and it's such a small file that it just attached straight into the email. Mm -hmm. and it's ready to go. There's nothing to click on. It just plays yep. right in the email. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it's really nice. It, it's lightweight. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful thing about this. We were talking about how. You know, I was telling her what Joel teaches and what he said about scaling an idea mm -hmm. that, you know, this digital world here, what we just came up with, this whole thing that came up was an idea. Mm -hmm. These are all ideas. This is intangible. You can't touch it. I can't go in there and touch that gif and grab it and, and give it to somebody. It's all, it exists in a illusory universe mm -hmm. right and it has but it has value there's, there's a communication between everybody mm -hmm. and this idea this this graphic this animated graphic inner you know this art, interface artwork. artwork as far as it ties into marketing mm -hmm. um it's positioned the right way and then boom it just scales out right, right. and then from from one client to m multiple in a setting mm -hmm. and there it is and it builds on itself from there and it was it's just ideas right and movements right manipulation imagination so mm -hmm. when people say you're uh, limited by you're only mm -hmm. limited by your beliefs and your imagination well this is kind of a, a reflection of that mm -hmm. it's pretty powerful yep so if i get off of movavi and close that down let me i think i had some other stuff up here there's nothing really else to talk about yeah, right here. Covered, yeah, pretty much yeah. covered that part. And again, you know, it had the colors different, right? And then on joelbauer.com, it's really nice that it actually brings a yeah. uh, white, blue, and white sandwiched in there together. That, that was really nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, did you have any other ideas that you wanted to show? Yeah, so uh, kind of in, in, in the closing thoughts here, uh, kind of throw this out there that you know whatever ideas you have hopefully this allow me to click um, this was something I created uh, last year probably about a year ago yep. and it was a, a, a motion graphic mm -hmm. in PowerPoint using that same uh, technique. technique to put it out as a recording and then put it in and put it into an editor mm -hmm. so it was for a, a little course that I've, I've had in mind in my up my sleeve for a long time and mm -hmm. it, it includes this setup of, it's called a meta symbology or card science so people call it destiny cards mm -hmm. it's like a it's like basically astrology using your birthday what the playing cards are used for I'm not going to go into it you just need to understand the basic concept was called mm -hmm. meta symbology mastery mm -hmm. when I had this open I think I actually have the gif up here let's see Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, start off this. like this. It has the standard transition. Mm -hmm. Goes down. I had another transition. I, I edited this in Movavi as well. Right? And that, that little background there came from Pixabay mm -hmm. as a motion video. I had it in the PowerPoint set up with timings. Mm -hmm. Right? And this was like an opening sequence. Is going to be like, you know how, have you ever seen Joel's thing that opens up with 
Uh, like yeah. the gears and all that. And I, I think that's really, really cool. Yeah. You worked really hard this, on that too. The, the opening up right here, all these little cards, I had to, I had to attach Each and crop and that same photo. I had to crop it and attach it to every card. It took me forever, a few days to get done that whole thing because yeah. I had to like have it fly in from one one slide and, and morph. There's a morph transition. This is what's called. It actually brings it all together like that. Mm -hmm. And this isn't to show something about me. It's it's for you the options that there are. Mm -hmm. I created that in PowerPoint or even like her whatever animation she creates for you. Mm -hmm. Earlier I was like, you know what, I got an idea to show this. Mm -hmm. I took a piece of that and I created this GIF right here. As you can see the frame, the border here disappears. Mm -hmm. And that's its own program. It's called Image Eye. You have to it's like a special, you have to go download it. But it's really nice if you have some kind of brand idea, and we get, you can have it move really slowly mm -hmm. instead of being busy like that. But when you do your presentations, you can have something like that. That's like okay. the director, right? If I was teaching mm -hmm. my you know, philosophy, <laughs> my, my techniques on, on this system, right. I could pull this up next to the PowerPoint, right? Mm -hmm. Like that. Right. That's so, cool. so you know that's that's another option. Just that's how easy it is, and you could, you saw in Mojave, it's just mm -hmm. boiling it down and creating mm -hmm. as simple as exporting as a GIF. But right. it's just the design and creative process. If you don't know how to do that, you don't have the time to do it. Mm -hmm. Creative team, just another idea, another wrinkle. That's what we're here for. So I'm gonna shut this down now. I want to bring up. Uh, Anna's pictures here. Yeah, I have a series of pictures and photos. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing. We we, we picked these up off of um, your computer. your creative cloud. Yep. I actually had these saved in there. Let me just do a slideshow from the beginning. That was a birthday present for um, my best friend, who is really, really, really into uh, the old. The real Ghostbusters animated TV show from the yeah, 90s. So that's like your own? Is that your own creation altogether? Like, um, I used a reference at first, and then I used like a reference to like draw me and Bree's new friend and me in there. So it's like this is kind of my new of my creation. So Th this one is well, y you had a. She had a series of videos that she did for, with, um, with her dad, yep. right? For for a, um, a cooking channel. Yep, on uh, YouTube. On YouTube. And I made a uh, intro video for it, like an animation intro video, um, where each cookie gets a, a a bite bite taken out of it. A bite taken out, so it's just like it, it it's just like bite bite bite, kind of like the old mm -hmm. Reese's commercials. Yep. Right. So we can create that. It'd be like a little commercial, right? <laughs> and that could fly in as a gift too. Like it could, you could, it takes a bite out, takes a bite out, takes it has a message up top, and at yep. the end it has another message. Like, yeah. You know, whatever. Eat your eat, eat, eat your cookies. You know, be good to Santa or whatever you want to say. And that's a sketch. This is just a sketch right here. I kind of want to breeze breeze through these. Mm -hmm. This is. Um, my comic book character that I'm in the process of creating that I still haven't figured out a costume for. That's what like different colors? Al alternate right. version of it. Uh, that's just uh, just, a, just a rough sketch, a beginning sketch, an artist sketch. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Another <laughs> rough sketch. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Actually a, I still like that sketchy one. scene. Yep. It it's could. Just, the, the scenes are, even though I didn't finish it, the scene was originally supposed to be like uh, these badass 20s group of girls. It's like Coyote who are, like, Ugly. Club, uh, it's like speakeasy. That's like, what I was going to say. Is it like yeah. Coyote Ugly? Yeah. yeah. And this is what you created for your for the video. For the that, training. That we're training that we training. First training. You yep. just created that on the fly. Mm -hmm. that That's was his my birthday, birthday present. present. Uh, Christmas present. Christmas present, yeah. The one on the right is completely like no reference at all, right? I mean, you get a mirror, but you have to draw like everything, yep. right? I had like vague references on what Venom looks like. 
However, they did not have much like on the side exactly like that, so then I had to wing it. That was very hard to do. This one is the, you know, for the cards. What I we were talking about this was like or, months ago. We were yeah, talking about having like an eye with the uh, spade in, mm -hmm. in it right here in the middle. Yep. Uh, there's multiple reasons I've, I've used that before. I've actually, you know, I had a costume where I had spade contacts many, many okay. moons ago. I, I said this could be the, uh, a bra top. <laughs> or not a bra, a swimming top. Swimming right? Yep. Yeah, pretty, pretty loud. <laughs> And then, um, you know, kind of another creative idea that we had was, you know, I love taking pictures of lizards. lizards. I'm like, I have this whole thing here. South Florida is just. He loves lizards. I just, I have an obsession. He's, he's never seen lizards or this much this lizards yeah. before. So then he's just like all nuts about lizards. Like, oh my gosh, there's like a whole bunch of iguanas everywhere. Right. So I take, I take pictures of them like. Randomly. Anywhere I go, and this yeah. one, this one just happened to be like like a perfect silhouette on the window. On I the think. window, I looked up. I had to grab the the phone and yep. and get that, and it was a perfect. Uh, that's a that's a house gecko. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, you know, let's use that because we have this idea. Uh, the way we can't we can't name the brand right now because it expired and we want to get the trademark. But yep. like these designs right here, this is nothing new. Mm -hmm. uh, like this tropical setup, you see you see ones that are design. kind of cheesy like Ace Ventura, but um, there's mm -hmm. ones that are a little more elegant. Mm -hmm. And we're like, you know, we have this division for ones that are really nice and tight and mm -hmm. colored just the right way. So we we just put it in a... Photoshop. We took the silhouette. And I looped yeah, it, and I made started. a t-shirt uh, design. I just worked off of what he told me he wanted, and there you go. And we started, like, they have this uh, paint gradient. called chameleon paint. So yeah. we started, like, paint using different types mm -hmm. of brushes or different color schemes in there. And it's, mm -hmm. that's the rough idea. We're not going to tell you exactly the whole. We're not going to give away all no. the ideas here. Nope. That is, like, uh, yes. another idea for just keep trying to draw my comic book character. Right. Um, Based on you? Yep. On you? <laughs> I was a reference. I have a literal reference. That is a picture in honor of my dad. May he rest in peace. Um, they call him Moose. Right? Horse. So moose we, call ghost. Him, we call him the Moose Horse Ghost. Yep. We got a picture of it looking over, mm -hmm. looking over us. Yep. Um, um, that was my present for my other friend, Nathan, who. Uh, Likes dogs and he has two cats and that's just us. Sleeping you just at you Christmas. just drew that up out of nothing. Or? Yeah. Wow. And then here's that night, right? It's like light and turn out the turn mm -hmm. out the light. Mm -hmm. and um, another reference. Loose rough sketch. I didn't really have a reference for that one. And then turned yeah. into that. Yep. Pretty much. Wow. I had to, that was for um, a while back when I was really young. I used to write fan fiction specifically for Harry Potter. And that is one of my Harry Potter original characters. Wow. Um, nope. There's most there. There's my reference for the girls, my superhero character sidekick slash partner. And that's like trying to figure out yeah, his right. costume so then it could like mesh properly with her costume. And I still have figured it out. That was a comic book for like eight-year-olds that dad wanted to make okay. um, before he passed and then I had to like sketch that out. I mean, this is extended of that I guess. Yep. He just wanted me like draw. This is that's, more that's of more your costume, character? Costume designs. I drew each and every one of them which was time consuming but I was like I was I was in the zone of trying to figure out I need to know what the heck this costume is gonna be. Um. So, like, I tried to make silhouettes because I've read that um, to make a good character in, like, a comic book, like Marvel, DC, that era, it's best to have a good character makes a good silhouette. So, I was trying to figure that out. That was um, a loose sketch a couple of months ago. Yeah. Also, another loose sketch that I still am. That's, that's out. pretty. The next one here I would show is, is just. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. blow away to me. Yeah, I think that's kind of yeah, cool. That's really cool. Like, people would have that on their wall. They'd be like, 
oh, let's just look at that, you know, people at the museum would stay yeah. there, just, <laughs> just, just sit there for an hour looking and taking it all in. Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely not in a good place at that time. Yeah, we won't, we won't, we won't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Another, Another rough sketch. I don't right? remember what I was mm. drawing with. That's a uh, logo that I wanted to make for, I um, had a um, voiceover storytelling YouTube channel, channel, YouTube channel, and I, um, you could look it up now, it's called Witching Hour Audio if you want to see it, um, but it's just me reading off stories, and I wanted a cool designer, so you so, could do again, something cool logo. Like that too. You want, you, want a, you, want you want a logo? You want a logo, graphic. You know, I'll give you a logo. Uh, all on top of the brand called You Logo, right? Something. Uh -huh. So... We just wanted, I kind of wanted to run through that because you see the animation part, but even her, but her still graphic design is just, just as blow away to me. Mm -hmm. And it's what you've done a lot more of, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, you still animate it a lot, but mm -hmm. like in her, in her free time, like if she's just bored or not, I say bored, but like inspired, put it that way, you'll, you'll just, <laughs> well, you'll just start doodling i have another clip we just whipped up something in like five minutes it's like yep. multiple characters yep so maybe you could get a caricature of you with your brain yeah. who knows you know but that kind of caps off the whole process that we went through mm -hmm. i just wanted to kind of just show the, the what went into it as far as artistic design what's available what mindset you have going here it gives you insight into it. I don't think everyone will end up watching this, but right. those who do will I think be it'll, interested. It'll give us a step up in uh, being prepared for mm -hmm. what they can do. Hopefully, uh, get you excited even see more. The see even of what you could do with your own business and brand and yeah, whatever whatever vision you have. Um, there's you know support to uh, breathe life into it. Mm -hmm. So that's the end of our training session. Yep. Thingy. So we shall uh, see you soon and hopefully uh, be talking to you.